Though thy crest be shorn and shaven, thou, I said, art sure no craven, ghastly grim and ancient raven, wandering from thy nightly shore. Tell me what thy lordly name is on the night's plutonian shore, quoth the raven, nevermore. iPhones. <laughs> <laughs>
gathering a whole bunch and, and being unanimous in one suit and, you know, packing everybody else to death. But, like, think about what the alternative is, is that you would be out and you would do nothing. This is so much better than nothing, yeah. right? Oh, oh, for sure. I hate when you play a drafting game or any game where you get knocked out and you sit there. You're like, oh, I was the first one knocked out. And I have to sit here for a half hour while they finish the game. We had a guy just flop the, uh, he was really close to winning, and then he just flopped the, the all five Ravens, which I totally didn't see coming, because we were just like, okay, he has he's five victory points. Okay, Aaron, we're doing this. All right, we're going to gather as many attack cards as we can. we got to kill him. Like, it's not going to, this isn't going to happen. And we were handing him Raven cards, not even thinking about it. Yeah, you know? and he's like, oh, I collected all Ravens. Like, <sighs> which is only like the second time I've ever seen anybody do that, because it is pretty detrimental to try and collect ravens and then not have any of them. Um, which, okay, which does lead me into another point when I had a white magic card that was, um, you know, everybody discard all their ravens with no effect. And I, that, to play at the resolution phase, I got my hand, saw it, so I had three ravens, immediately passed them to you. And since I know you as a player, since you got handed those three, I'm like, oh, he is definitely going to keep them. He's going to see that as opportunity, and he's going to try and capitalize on it. So then once we're done with this round, I think I maybe even handed you one more, I'm immediately going to play that. And it worked out perfectly because you had four in your hand, and you were left with pretty much nothing. So you definitely can play the players, not the game, in this game if you know the other people at the table, and it can work out awesomely. These magic cards are super powerful. Like, these light ones are all about, like, boosting you, like, adding cards to your hands and, like, stopping at opportune moments where you think you're going to win. And the shadow magic is all about messing with everybody else or, like, you know, oh, give this person this negative effect, steal from them. So it's all, you know, mess with people, help yourself. I mean, they both kind of help you. Yeah, they both, yeah. They, there's some, it's like a Venn diagram, you know. There is some part in the middle where they're kind of the same. I also found it interesting that each round you would trigger the effects in a different order. So you always, the first and last were always the same, but you know you could heal first or you could you know stab each other first. You're not really sure because you shuffle up the tokens and lay them out in the center. And then as you triggered them, you flip them over. I thought that was really cool. Because there's times when you may think, oh, I'm getting all these healing cards, that's going to be good, but what if there's the what stabbing if the last first? Thing. Yeah. And somebody stabs me before I actually heal. So Or it's the last thing and now you're forced to use the raven. So I really do like that mechanic. I mean, I think that's really fun. But the fact that you're shuffling these tokens up a whole bunch, it's very likely that they will get worn out. Now, we already talked about the components, really, of like the, the cards, the quality of these. Um, and really, the rest of them are OK, too. The tokens are all right. The, these cubes, I mean, cubes they're are kind of boring. Yeah, but I mean, they're wooden, so they're not like bad, per se. But there's one thing that I would definitely swap out for this is there is an expansion for this game. It's called Spectres of Nevermore. And we have it, but we haven't played it yet, so we're not going to talk too much about it. It gives you a lot of uh, special powers, so every player has a specific power that they can do for both human and raven form, which sounds super awesome. Can't wait to try it out. But it also came with a token upgrade. They swap out these tokens for tokens like big metal, not, not metal, but they're like... The, ceramic. They're, the, they're ceramic. They're the gems from Splendor. They're, you can hear them click. Here, hear that clack. Oh, oh, that yeah. was actually kind of unsatisfying. That's better. They're so solid, so great, and I would definitely encourage you to purchase this with the expansion simply for these alone. I mean, I bet you these rolls are amazing, too, so it, hey, this is probably a plus, but it's like, it's like a token upgrade pack that, hey, also has some rolls in it. I love the saltiness of this game. <laughs> Like, that is one thing that when we started playing games, you know, we had a lot of these, like, backstabby games that we played, and this definitely fits that niche that I've been, like, or that, that itch I wanted to scratch. Like, I love backstabbing Tom and being, like... <laughs> Specifically me. <laughs> yeah. Like, th the first time I played this, I'm like, oh, I have four stabs. Oh, you canceled one of them? Okay, I get to do three damage. Uh, Tom. This is my newest game for that saltiness, for sure. The fact that the drafting is different from other drafting games. You're not picking one card, everybody's done. Okay, let's flip it up and see what everybody got, where you're building a hand. I like how that's different. It, it's very secretive, very, and, and there's kind of a little bit of card counting aspect to it, because you're like, wait, if I handed him this many, then that means he should have handed me at least one, but he didn't. So wait, you know, you can kind of figure that out, and you do play the players knowing what you're going to hand them. Um, I will definitely say that I enjoyed it a little bit more with, with more players. Like as a three-player game, it, it was fine, but you, you definitely 
got real salty. It was either I'm going to kill this guy or I'm going to kill that guy. That is it. When it was five and six, it was a little bit more spread out. You know, you kind of felt like you're in a group. You're a little bit safer. You know, not everybody's going to try and come at you. And you could you could even bargain with people too. Like, no, 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 don't peck me. Peck them. Peck that person. Look right over there. He's got way more health and more victory points. Yeah, for sure. You know? Uh, but yeah, definitely very enjoyable, very fun, very salty. Don't play this with a group that loves to play co-op games or something like that. All right, so you definitely want to get a copy of this game. Click on the link below and buy yourself a copy. And hey, while you're here, subscribe so never more will you be bored. I used the name. I, I Instead of our thing, I did this thing. What's up, nerds? I'm Aaron. Sup? 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 Sup?